Why, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a revolting review. I am Random Ross, and today I am reviewing Godzilla versus Kong. <laughs> So this is directed by Adam Wingard and it of course stars Alexander Skarsgård, Millie Bobby Brown, Rebecca Hall, Brian Tree Henry, uh, Shun Ogu, Eli Isa, I can't pronounce that guy's name, Julia Dennison, Lance Reddick, the late Lance Reddick, uh, Kyle Chandler and Demi Damien so this is the fourth installment of the you know legendary monster verse that dropped on HBO Max in 2021 due to the pandemic because after a year we had in 2020 with COVID-19 Warner Brothers decided to just release all their movies to HBO Max as well as cinemas but this did fairly well enough to get the next one, which we'll get to in March. So, five years after the events of King of the Monsters, Godzilla has been dormant for a while, but then starts to resurface and cause chaos and havoc. Meanwhile, on Skull Island, Kong is getting moved to a new location because they believe they found a doorway to Hollow Earth. And of course, Godzilla intervenes as well they have a brawl down in the pacific ocean and then of course you know godzilla's off again and they go and find a way to hollow earth where kong takes them and they all follow kong around hollow earth and find that this is where the kaiju the giant monsters may have originated from and then of course you know godzilla's in hong kong is it hong kong where they have the final showdown. Yeah, I'm assuming. Yeah, it's Hong Kong, and they have a big fight down. Got you, know, King Kong picks up an axe weapon as well that he finds on Hollow Earth where his species once were, and of course they fight it out and stuff until the Mecha Godzilla that is being powered by the skull, the brain of King Ghidorah. Of course, King Ghidorah. That Ghidorah head manages to develop into Mechagodzilla becoming its own independent creature. And of course then the two titans have to, you know, put their differences aside and fight this beast, this mechanical monster. And then of course after that they both call a truce and go their separate ways. Godzilla goes back to the ocean, Kong finds a new home on Hollow Earth. And then that is apparently it for this one. But I knew this was not going to be the end. They said that Kong, Godzilla vs Kong was going to be the last instalment. But I said, yeah, this is the end, sure. But not the end of the franchise. It's the end of Phase 1. That If they're calling that. So Phase 1 ended with Godzilla vs Kong. And what did I like about this one? I liked a lot about it. The visuals as well were great as always. I love the story interaction with Kong and Godzilla. I love the fighting and it did what we came to see in this movie. We got to see the fighting. We got to see the monsters fight. We had human drama in there, but the human drama was very cut down this time. I mean, we had some good cast members, some new ones and some returning ones, especially Millie Bobby Brown from Godzilla, King of the Monsters. And we also had some good new action and a lot more improvement on the monster fights because and they're finally getting the message now you know we come to see these movies to see the monsters brawl out not to see the human drama unfold and they delivered on that and it was a lot more of improvement kong looked more better as well i find oh in kong skull island he was a teenager now he's like a middle age I mean in these kaiju are giant monsters they age slower than us you know so they probably live longer and age slower so yeah um, of course we had Skull Island where Monarch had turned it into like a sanctuary for Kong which wasn't really for him I also like the Hollow Earth scenes and how we got to see Kong take the spotlight a little more in this 
And at first, Godzilla was kind of seen as like the antagonist, but once they found out what was making him go nuts, they, you know, they both kind of did a Batman v Superman thing, where they're both hating and fighting each other at first, but once there is a, a mutual threat like Doomsday did with Batman and Superman, Mecha Godzilla, they all have a fight with it. Mecha Godzilla looked good. He had the least screen time out of everyone, but uh, I like what they did with the Mecha Godzilla and how the two Titans came together to destroy it, and how Kong's axe just needed Godzilla's atomic breath to be powered up, and also how you know Kong even died briefly in it, but he came back soon after. And I like this. This was the first Godzilla and Kong film where they both clash and fight each other for the first time in nearly 60 years. And, you know, in the last one, God, King Kong vs. Godzilla, it was implied that King Kong won. In this one, they called it a draw and both destroyed, you know, Mecha Godzilla. And me, personally, in this, I was Team Kong. Yeah, Team Kong. You know, supporting our fellow primates. So, um, yeah, I mean, the human drama as well was a lot more watchable in this, as it was, you know, cut down a bit, but I like the cast we had, like Alexander Skarsgård joining and Rebecca Hall. We even had a native tribe girl from Skull Island who was the last of her tribe, thinking, okay, so what happened to all her tribe then? Uh, and she was an interesting character because she was deaf, and I believe the little actress as well is deaf. And she taught Kong sign language, so Kong could even communicate now with the humans. I like that scene. I like the ending as well. It wraps up phase one nicely. And, yeah. The you know, Monarch Legacy of Monsters that kicks off phase two. And we're going to get more of these this franchise when we get um, Godzilla Kong, the new empire. That's why it's called Godzilla Kong, not Godzilla and Kong. It's called Godzilla Kong... The new empire as it's pronounced so anyway what am i gonna rate this one you know what i enjoyed this one a lot i'll give it four stabs out of five for this one so there you go there is my review for this one have you seen it let me know down below in the comments if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up share with your friends and feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and to hit that notification bell i've been random ross and this has been a revolting review so I've only got to review Monarch, then prepare for the next installment. So, until next time, you know, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Because it's a small clip for you, but means a lot to me. But that's your choice at the end of the day. So, until next time, do it have nightmares.